Hey guys, welcome. With the new IT movie coming out, we wanted to break out the face paint and show you the best way to cover up some homicidal tendencies with a big red smile. It's been 27 years since this dancing clown first appeared in the sewers of Derry. Hey, you're gonna like it down here. And we thought we'd pay our respects to the OG Pennywise, Tim Curry. This is Mel Licata. Hello. The special effects makeup artist who regularly works on independent and feature films and who also competed on season 10 of Sci-Fi's Face Off. Now she's here to turn Hunter from a member of the Losers Club into Pennywise himself. Today we're going to bald cap him. We're going to put on a prosthetic to sort of hide his eyebrows and blend the transition between his bald cap and his hair. We're going to do his makeup, paint him all white, give him a clown makeup, glue on a wig and lay some hair so it looks extra nice. That's exciting. How long exactly does that whole entire process take? You know, only a few hours. Only a few hours. Okay, great. So I'm going to be right back with a volunteer slash victim, and we're not going to let this makeup go to waste because we're going to see if Hunter can scare them as much as Tim Curry used to scare us. You all taste so much better when you're afraid. So first we slick back Hunter's hair in a look inspired by Eddie Munster. That makes it easier for Mel to put on the bald cap. After it is on, Mel cuts away the excessive parts of the cap and sticks it on with a skin adhesive. Then she has to blend it in, which basically cleans up all those lines separating man from cap and makes Hunter into who he was meant to be, a seal. After that, you use setting powder to set in the adhesive. Then it's time to apply the prosthetic. So we didn't have a prosthetic custom made for Hunter, Mel brought in two different kinds and fit them both to see which one would work better. And after picking one, she fit it onto his head and helped Hunter morph from seal into Voldemort. Then we're back with more adhesive and setting powder to give Hunter his new bald look, complete with no eyebrows. We had to cover those up since later on his new ones were going to be drawn on and unfortunately Hunter's natural brows look too good to be scary. So once all that's good to go and you have a Voldemort ready to go clown on you, it's time for the white face paint. Let's hear Hunter describe the experience. It just feels like actual goop. That's the only way I could describe this. And now that you have all that clown makeup on and there's no chance of turning back, it's time for a powder break. I look like a powder no, no <laughs> So once all of Hunter is good and set, all is left is the details. So Mel is drawing on the eyebrows and using eyeliner around his eyes. She also has other eye details like the blue triangles on his lids and the black line under his eye. Fun fact, another famous clown with blue triangles in his makeup, serial killer clown John Wayne Gacy. Back to Hunter. Mel is just applying his red lips now so he's almost good to go. Hunter gets a quick nose job and now we finally have the bald clown we've been waiting for. After that, she puts on the wig and customizes it for a Pennywise look, which is to make that wig look as big and scary as possible. So there's a lot of cutting and a lot of holding spray. Last but not least, there's the contacts and teeth. Make sure you have someone to help with the contacts if you've never put them in before, because apparently it's a lot harder than it looks. And then you just pop in your teeth. These teeth were specially fitted at the beginning of the process, so they're now a perfect fit for Hunter. Next, get your clown a balloon and you have your Pennywise. Hi, I'm Sassy. Danielle Gable. I'm, I'm Dan. Ellen Thomas. My beauty routine is I um, will put my foundation first and eyeliner. And then I put concealer. No, and then I put this. Ah! Uh, ah! ah! And that. <laughs> Ew, is that? Hey, girl, what's up? Hunter, how do you feel? Exhausted, defeated, um, worn out, but not down for the count. Um, I've had a great time though. Mal is a tremendous artist, and I can't believe she got me to look like this with just some tinted moisturizer and chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and just remember, we all float down here. Come back anytime. Bring your friends. Thank you.